this country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the money. That's why you gotta make your own moves. What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Sot. Checking back in. Pimps, players, Max, and motherfucking prison. You know we got them, man. Which one was I? All of the motherfucking above. For it didn't matter. Whatever circumstance arose, that's what I turned into. If I need to be a player this day, I was a player. If I need to be a Mac tomorrow, I was a Mac. If I needed to be a pimp next week, I was a motherfucking pimp next week. You feel me? <laughs> Situation where you gotta protect at all costs. Your loved ones, man. When it come to writing your loved ones, your family, pictures, shit like that. You got to guard all that shit, too, in, in, in the penitentiary, man. All that shit has to be protected. Of course, you're going to have some people you rock out with, a couple homeboys and shit that you share your pictures and your photos and stuff like that with, you know what I mean? But most guys show, like, certain pictures. No, you don't show all your... That's the rule in prison. You don't show all your motherfucking pictures in prison, man. You just show the ones of you in the world doing stuff or just memories of your kids whatever and you don't show everybody your motherfucking pictures in prison man so boom out here in dallas and especially in the north side i ain't gonna say where i'm from where i stomp at you feel me we got a lot of pimps that's what they call themselves they call themselves pimps players that's just the home of the land everybody already know north dallas is for pimps hoes players max all that shit. you hear harry hines anywhere on that strip baby you gonna be down there looking for some shit, you know what I'm saying? So, got this cat named Chinchilla out of North Dallas, you feel me? He followed in the penitentiary, really, man. Decent looking cat, he not really a fighter. You can tell, he always on some player shit. I always keep his, <laughs> when you go to his cell, he got a little rug and shit, got him a little makeshift ring. This nigga think he a real pimp in the penitentiary, you feel me? But. He was rocking out. That's what he was in the penitentiary for because he was getting it in out there in the world. So check this out. Chinchilla, man. So boom, I'd be rocking out with him every day. He, they got their own little, you know, y'all know how it is. Pimps got their own little, man, they own little slick lingo and shit. So I'd be rocking out with Chinchilla every day at the table. You know, we either working out or we listen. I'm listening to his, some of his little fly shit. So one day I hear him, I say, I say, Chinchilla, man, what you be telling them hoes, man? So he brought me down through there. He got a whole list of slogans, man. I'm talking about put it in my hand, make me understand, get on that track, bring it back. Uh, if the hoe ain't beneficial, then she artificial. Y'all know that one, man. Just the same shit. So he running me down through there. And so I say, man, tell me about, you know, I'm just, we just going down through. This is what we do in the sense. We ride, we talk about life. Shit like that. So I say, man, tell me about one of your girls one day when, when, when it was a problem or some shit that she didn't bring the money back. I say, what you usually do? You beat them hoes up when they don't bring the money back? Do you force them? How you, or you make them? He said, all right. He go into a little story, y'all. This is how he talk. Bad little bitch named Pocahontas, man. Talking about bad. Bad, bad. It's a Friday night. She get out, she hit the track. An hour later, the bitch come back. It's pouring rain. I say, what you do? He so here, this is how the conversation go. He say, she say, daddy, it's raining outside. Bitch, you better walk in between the raindrops. <laughs> I said, damn, that nigga cold. That nigga cutthroat. I say, damn, pimp, you cutthroat like that? He said, shit. I don't play no games. <laughs> he said, shit. I don't play no games, sock. For real about this pimping shit. So boom, fast forward. So that's this character. So that's Chinchilla, you know, real laid back. Funny nigga, man. He don't want no, he ain't no fighter, none of that shit. So in the penitentiary, they don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Pretty boys, pimps, players, masks, everybody suspect in the penitentiary, man. But Chinchilla, one of these, he just got this personal, this, this, this uh character to where you, some people just, he just, you know, piss off him. They just want to fight him, man, because he feel like, you know, like some people be slaying some slick shit. He got all these pictures and shit. You know how niggas go to hate. Got all these pictures and shit of him and uh, 
chinchilla, him and just different bitches and shit, bad hoes. And y'all know how it is in the penitentiary. When a nigga wasn't doing none of that, you gonna have some hate nigga. He can't get no hoes in the world, so all he do is fight. You know what I'm saying? He mad in the bitch. So, you got niggas like that in the penitentiary. And what do they do when they can't get no hoes, shit like that? Bully, they go picking on people. So, boom, this nigga used to always, black ass nigga used to always fuck with chinchilla. Uh, size him up, size him up, size him up somebody up, mean just try somebody, you feel me? Like, we'll be in the day room and chill. He'll be like, man, he'll say some shit, man, get get your weak ass on or some shit like that. And chill, he'll be like, ain't nothing weak about this shit, ain't nothing weak about this pimping. He'll say something funny or some shit. Everybody bust out laughing, you feel me? One day we in the day room for him chilling. Black ass nigga just dry come in hating on chin chiller. What's up, nigga? You you are always talking about this and that, this and that. What your fight game look like? Chin chiller said, <coughs> nigga, I don't do no fighting. Nigga, I, I'm a pimp. Um, I make hoes. I get money. I don't. That's the last thing I do. I don't do no fighting. I'm too pretty to fight. <laughs> that's what that. So we all dying laughing in the penitentiary. You know he got a sense of humor. See, nigga, you know he brushing this shit off, but he he making light of all this shit. This old bully ass nigga saying, but so he go in. He say, man, how you you know the black ass nigga bully? How you got some hoes? You don't even want to fight. You know what I'm saying? Don't no bitches want no nigga that can't protect them. And oh, uh, he say my hoes protect me. Fuck you, man. <laughs> But he going in, so we laughing, y'all. Black getting mad. I mean, the black ass nigga getting mad than the bitch. Bad than the bitch. Long story short, he ended up saying some shit like, nigga, I can fuck any one of them hoes in your motherfucking picture. Nigga, I can fuck all. He just go start going in, you feel me? Going in. So, Chinchilla say, you know how it go. He say, shit. Where your bitch at? You talking about my hoe? Where your where your pictures at? Where your bitches at? You always going in. Where your pictures at? Where your hoes at? So he said, I don't do all that. I got a bad bitch. That's it. I got one bitch and can't that nigga knock her. She solid all the way one hundred. He said all that pimping shit. She don't she don't fall for simps and shit. None of that shit. He I'm talking about he going in. She want that that thug shit. She don't want no nigga talking about some pimping and none of that. So he going in, he hounding the shit out of Chinchilla, y'all. He going there to get the pictures. Come out, show enough. Show enough. He proved his point. He got a black ass nigga, got a bad ass bitch. So now we all shocked. This and that. We and somehow it escalate. They going back and forth. So black ass nigga say, man, yeah. Show me, I'll show you, I'll snatch any one of your hoes. I'll take your hoes from you, this and that. All you gotta do is give me the info. Give me the info. So, so Chinchilla a pimp, he say shit. He say, I got you. Boom, he shoot the info, and he tell him in return, I bet you I'll knock your bitch. That's what he told him. And uh, <clears throat> so black, like, so then now it's, it's turning into some serious shit. Cause now he talking about black girl and shit. Well, you know, now he talking about black girl and shit, you feel me? It's getting serious, so. Black like, man, nigga, my bitch solid. She will never fall for a weak nigga like you. Matter of fact, here go the info. Here, shoot your shot. Boom, now we got a challenge. This how, this how it go in the penitentiary, y'all. Niggas challenging this shit, now we got a challenge. Boom. Chinchilla shot a letter out to, uh, oh, I mean, Black shot a letter out to, you know, two of his girls. Boom, Chinchilla shoot a letter out. That's how it go. Now, the girls don't know nothing about it. The girls don't know nothing about it, but we finna see if you get a response. This shit happened a lot of penitentiary. People uh, pass on information, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll shoot you a chick or some shit, and they'll just give you her information. And a lot of guys do this shit. They'll get fucked up with their bitch or whatever and be like, fuck that hoe. And they'll get her address and be like, look, here go a picture of her. Here, I don't fuck with her no more. And they'll give it to somebody, and somebody end up just dry, randomly writing this chick. And hey, if you strike gold with your words, you get a letter back. If you on some bullshit, you won't get one back. So boom, they go down through them, man. Uh, uh, after that day, so they go down, they shot the letters out every day. You know how it is, weeks after that. Motherfuckers waiting on letters. Long story short, nobody got a letter back. Nobody got a letter back to shit. End up dying down. Chinchillas, but uh, Black kept fucking with Chinchilla the whole. Told you, nigga, you ain't no pimp. You ain't no pimp, nigga. My bitch was laughing at that letter because he got a letter. Um, back from his girl talking about, yeah, this nigga tried to woo 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 woo. And so Black brought the letter, he was going in. I'm talking about 
going in on chinchilla ass. Nigga, you said this old simple lad, woo woo. They was going in, so we don't, you know, everything, well fucking, <laughs> everything die down. We go on, y'all. I tell you, my grandpa always told me, it's plenty of ways to skin a cat, man. With that being said, so, Chichilla ended up going home, y'all. Chichilla ended up going home. We still in the same wing, still same pod, doing our thing. We never heard nothing else about that situation, but every day since then, since they had that little altercation or that little back and forth challenge or whatever, um, black been bullying the shit out of motherfucking chinchilla. I'm talking about going and handling them. You ain't no pimp, simple ass. You ain't gonna fight. You ain't just real handling them real rough, you feel me? And he had a hard time. Chinchilla had a hard time. But hey, a smooth cat know how to, you know, laugh, get his way out of shit, all kind of shit. He made it home. That was the goal, y'all. But peep this shit. My nigga L get some pictures in. L and chinchilla was like this, left and right. <clears throat> so L get some pictures in and as soon as he get in, they pictures of Chinchilla, you know, in the world. He riding motorcycles and shit like that. He bought riding motorcycles, got his motherfucking leathers back on. He back doing good. He only had like a two or three year sentence. He back in the world doing his thing. So we flipping through the pictures. Now we seeing it's a chick on the motorcycle. So we like, damn, who is that? He recognizes the same chick that Blackhead gave the information to, Chin to Chinchilla to right old girl and now she on the back of the motorcycle man on the back of the motorcycle and they having motorcycle fun if you know what i mean i said that to say this y'all in the penitentiary you gotta guard your information man your information is not safe with anybody you feel me your wife your kids anybody is vulnerable in the penitentiary because niggas don't care man the niggas will go after whatever whoever however man but uh Luckily that wasn't no, wasn't no, luckily that wasn't no, like his wife or no shit, but luckily that wasn't black or white or no shit like that, you feel me? But respect motherfucking Chinchilla for doing what he had to do, you feel me? He did what he had to do, he got out the way, <laughs> and, and, and that rage, that anger, it must have really, like, seriously, man, y'all don't even know. I can't wait to get out of here. I know this Chinchilla, I know his mind, I just, I know he was thinking, I can't wait. I can't wait to get out of here. I'm gonna fuck this nigga girl. I can't wait to get out of here. I'm gonna get this nigga girl. I'm gonna get this nigga bitch. I'm gonna get this nigga bitch. I'm gonna get the last laugh. I'm gonna get the last laugh. I'll be damned, y'all. That's true definition of plenty of ways to skin a cat, man. He dealt with a bunch of bullying, a bunch of, you know, verbal abuse and shit down there. Cause like he said, he ain't no fighter, this and that. Then he got his get back after he got out, you feel me? When tough, but say, Cold, cold world we live in, y'all. Cold, cold world we live in, man. Guard y'all motherfucking shit. For, thank y'all for tuning in with another prison story with Sai. Don't forget to smash that like. And don't forget to comment. That like and subscribe button. And don't forget to comment, man. Leave me a comment down below. Much love, much respect.